Oh boy. We are live. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna live. check if it's on the, like, the correct channel. Hold up. Alright. It's correct. Let's go. Yes. Okay, so this is basically the continuation of my streams in t on Twitch. And what I'm basically doing for the last few streams is if I die playing Season of Mastery, which is the basically classic WoW, I have to quit WoW forever. Yes, that's a quite a big catch, but today we have a visitor. My best bud, my man in arms, waifu. Hello, guys. Hi, hi, guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any. I'm not gonna be playing. Yeah. There's no one watching. <laughs> ah, there's no one watching, bro. That's funny. <laughs> I know. I know. I, like, I, I said on my first stream, I do. I do this for myself. That's why. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I speak when, even though. It's actually that. more fun when you, when you don't do it for views and just for your own pleasure. Yeah. Of course, it, it will be so much fun, like if people actually watch. With, a, with an active chat, yeah. Yeah, that, it will be so cool. But I don't, I don't really give a shit. It's a spirit. So here's the thing. For the last, I mean, couple of days, I have been a little bit sick because I had my second shot of COVID thingy. It's Pfizer. I've seen it. Yeah. And I couldn't really stream because my immune system was extremely bad, badly injured, and I got extreme extreme fever and I couldn't really stream obviously so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try and work out the time that I I wouldn't say lost but I honestly I miss playing WoW because although you I can hate the company nowadays I can hate the modern state of the game how retail turned out how the history is coming out to be a big piece of junk badly explained when I come back to vanilla I remember um, myself a different mindset of myself of 11 years ago when the game was well basically gorgeous for me WoW won't go down as the best MMO of all times however for a long time it was really it felt extremely nice to play in the past Although, of course, this is extremely painful to say. I am doing this challenge, sort of in a way, so I can get rid of the game. Because Blizzard is always gonna make something to drag you back and pay more money. I've spent thousands of dollars on this game. Paying monthly fees, maybe something on shop. I don't buy transmogs and mounts, I'm not that kind of person, but you know what I mean. But mostly expansions and the, and the monthly fee. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop on Season of Mastery. Uh, on the last few streams I was playing on, on the Rogue, but I'm gonna do one, one slight change over here. What's gonna happen is... Over here we have my rogue and a mage. I started a mage maybe yesterday or the day before yesterday. His name is Punk. You can already guess the YouTuber actually took the name from it. It's Pint, of course. You can guess also because it's a gnome. I only choose gnome because of the, you know, intelligence buff and shit. But honestly, I do kind of think it's going to be a little more fun because I've never really played a gnome. So I created the secondary character mostly because I want to, you know, alternate between those two characters. They're like curling over here like the rogue is gonna do the hardcore challenge under extremely strict rules if like on the like if I die I have to quit well forever. On the other hand I'm gonna have punk which I'm gonna stream once in a while, maybe alternating the streams and if he dies, that's not gonna be much of a problem. Although he will be on hardcore as well, I won't have to quit with WoW if I die with him. Not only that's like a way to me, you know, to lengthen out the... You know, how much I'm gonna play in Season of Mastery because honestly it's feeling pretty cool to play it. The changes they made were extremely good, honestly. 
because one of the things I hated the most about Classic it, it was basically how long it took for leveling. I don't think 40% was enough, but it's definitely about what I needed to get back on Classic. Of course they fucked up real bad on making all the boosts, the bot problems. I do hope they do not monetize Season of Mastery. They did not make any proclamations or anything, although they did say they wouldn't monetize TBC Classic, they did. So I'm kind of scared for that. I am happy this one works on Season Systems and it might be a little bit more fun. What I'm gonna do is, if I continue streaming, I'm gonna do my Rogue and then I go to my Mage, alternately. That, like, decreases my chance of dying. I'm gonna do my rogue now. I honestly do not remember where I stopped. But there are only a few exceptions, like, of a retry I can do if I die. First one. If I came out and I, like, disconnected extremely low health on the place. And I can't really defend myself because of the shit spot I locked out. The only other thing I can, like, try and retry the character is if I get a DC. Meaning, if my internet goes absolutely shit internet, bullshit, dog piss, I can try again. <laughs> dog piss. <laughs> because here's what Bullshit, happens. dog piss. Dog piss. <laughs> here's, 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 what hap or here's what happens. If you disconnect out of the sudden, your internet blacks out, your character remains on for like 20 to 30 seconds, so you're basically still a killable target. But you're not quite playing, so you can die even if you're not playing in this short period of time. Of course, of course, I mean. That's like worst case scenario. Yeah, extremely worst case scenario. That's why it's an exception. If I die during this worst case scenario, I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna be able to, you know, make another character. Because it's fucking ridiculous. I saw a streamer called Azimus, which is the guy who inspired me to go back to streaming. He basically tried hardcore three times until he got basically mind melting the situation. Because he tried first on a on a gnome doing a mage, he got up to level 25, maybe fucking 20 hours of gameplay and streaming non-stop. And he died because of a DC. And then again that happened again and again. He basically quit the hardcore challenge. Now here's the thing, Azimus, he not only did the hardcore challenge, he did the Road to Ragnaros, which is basically what mostly masochist people try to do on Season of Mastery. Because I, if I tried to do um, the Road to Ragnaros, I'd be fucked. Because it's not that hard on like the terms of getting damage it doesn't alter like that it's not like ascension warcraft where you have nightmare challenge mode no you basically cannot group up with people you cannot repeat dungeons once in a while it makes the game extremely more hard but more on the ways of its own mechanics which i find quite dumb because if i'm gonna basically be able to ki be killed like forever I'm gonna need all the help I can get so I'm probably gonna try to find find a group because dungeons are for the most part necessary in this game when it comes to loot because of course you can get to level 60 just by questing but dungeons do offer the best in slot absolutely possible gear I'm gonna log in my rogue. I'm gonna instantly go on stealth if possible to see if there's any enemies around me. I hope there isn't. Oh, so I wasn't a dumb fuck and I logged out on the end. That's great. Oh, oh I missed this game. Let's go. So, as I explained like last time, I am using the Rested XP add-on it's quite helping me a lot really what it does it basically gives me instructions because i'm gonna tell you 
Even for a fucking WoW veteran, WoW Classic, I'm not gonna say like it's difficult to follow up the quests and do shit, but it's not easy either. Because without add-ons, you don't know where the quests are unless you keep reading all the time. And honestly, I could do that and try searching all the mobs all the time, doing more immersive experience. But I've done that so many times by my own, I cannot take that shit no more. I'm gonna sprint right now. I'm always gonna try and leave like a potion or an evasion ready up for, you know, any mischief I can get into. Hold up, I think my life is lagging in. I'm gonna need to, to check if my life is lagging. I don't know, honestly. Because, like, my OBS and WoW are going extremely smooth. Extremely smooth, but... Might be some configuration I did not yet change. Because I just changed to YouTube. Or just because of the fact... My internet on my phone, which is where I check the chat, is not really that much. It's not much, much you know, it's not good compared to what, what I have in the computer. I'm gonna try and check, like, on the, on the Chrome thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, it seems it's actually lagging out a lot. I really don't know why. Hey, gotta, gotta like your own stream, man. Maybe there's actually some configuration I messed up over here. Or maybe because of the fact that it's recording at the same time. Might be that. I don't know. Let's check live again. And then walk a little. Because everything is going just fine. Let's see. Oh, that's so much better, yeah. I should not record while I stream. Yeah, that's... Of course, that's kind of dumb. I honestly won't use the footage from the streams so much. Because most of the content I want to, like, develop is basically going around on... Um, solo, more serious, history-based content. Now, and when I say that, it's basically like this. I don't want to make, like, um, video reactions or... Or stuff like that. No, I, I want to make, like, tributes to WoW. I want to make mostly resume my history and mark my presence of basically I'm not gonna say like I'm a fucking gamer but as the player and the fucking kid I once was playing this game because this game has marked my history and development as a person I'm gonna try and read every quest because I honestly don't do that very often and mostly I do avoid doing that on the early zones because I usually get hyped up for for doing the level ups. How are you? Let's see. Oh see you later. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> the fucking nag on just You need something? Super How are you? quickly speeds up the fucking thing. The killing fields. Okay, so it should be right around over there. Okay. Of course, again, on this time I was actually a bit sick, I was thinking a little of changing how the challenge will go, because... So much delay, bro, I know, man. I'm on low latency mode, it's honestly quite normal to be like that. You want the VC, right? Yeah.
it probably will be less of a pinch to kill these guys from the last time I tried on my warlock because this guy resists a lot of my spells. King's honor, friend. Okay, Light so bless you. Kill him. Kill him. I'm help? gonna try. Let's see if I have some shit cell. No, absolutely fine. For the alliance. Okay, so be careful. I always get well confused met. when I see this. Um, I was for a long time a retail player, and I think it's <laughs> basically the um. Go with honor, friend. Yeah, you know the option well to met. give out the quest. Okay, so I give on this. Except the quest falls too. Hey there. Okay, give me that. Report to Green Scout Metal. Okay, so that's down the road. I find so funny, like the methods they put onto the S, the, like the add-on, because they're so much different. And honestly, much more fun from the usual gameplay I, I, I would do. Because if it, like, if it was just me, I would basically just do the quest separately, slowly. But this thing over here, it basically sets me to grab every fucking griffin point as possible. So it's always maximizing my speed. Which is good, honestly, but I don't care about the speed, I only care about staying alive. And I've thought about it a little much on the on the end game, if I actually survive through this challenge and if I hit max level. So here's the thing, if I reach level 60... Yes, that's the release, man. So here's the thing, if I hit level 60, what can I do for you? For here's what's gonna life. happen. I'm not gonna like do increasingly more challenges because that's a bit too dumb, honestly. I thought about it. So here's what's gonna happen. If, just if I actually survive this challenge, I'm gonna have basically to do over and over again on other classes. Hooray for me. Of course, I will try and do and make them more easy by basically just, you know, um, trinketing and sending gold and making my journey a lot easier. Because if I have some gold on my new, on a new character and it gets like the amount of level 20, that would be extremely helpful. Then they're trash. Good day to you. So See you around. I already have my, Hello. Thing, my trash vendor. I don't know what he's talking about. Mm, honestly, I don't need these watermelons. I can just have the wolf meat. I kind of want to like train and do um, the lighter working thingy because, I mean, look at the vest that I got. It's not at all pretty. I know that, but four stamina, four spirit. For stamp for spell at the belt. You kidding me? That's like super suburb from what I have. Not a like on the matter. It's not have that much, but it's still a, a huge upgrade. Right until you have 31 silver, 97 copper of venerables and money. 31 silver? Are you kidding me? That's so much. Okay. Let's do what the Adam says. No, I haven't. On level 11. Let's see. Of course, I'm using an add on to see the prices of the things because on Vanilla Wall you can't really do that. I will try it. At most times to avoid all this you know higher level creatures because <clears throat> like this one's over here <clears throat> sorry guys like he's level 14 on retail you would be able to fuck him up like pull him like scrape him up real fucking soon like real fucking soon but over here your ass would be beaten of course there's like ones on my level such on this case over here. 
I'm gonna try and sneak up on his back. So it's super hard to get on 60? No, it's not super hard to get on 60, but it takes a lot less time than it used to do. Oh, I cannot backstab. Oh, shit. I can't do that yet. That was kind of dumb of me, actually. Because I'm not using dual daggers, I cannot backstab. Oh my god, that was super dumb of me, honestly. I don't have enough energy. I might actually have to buy a dagger. Because, yeah, this combat was much longer than it used to be. And honestly, because I'm not used over here, like you can see, to using swords, so my, that might actually be a problem. Because if you do not like have the skill, the game is sometimes much higher than a horse. Really? One second. I'm sh still trying to get it up to the volumes I should be using. Let's see, I could probably sneak up on a harvest golem. Let's see what skill do I need on swords. Oh, it's gonna go up rather fast, honestly. I don't have to worry about it too much. Bro, he isn't attacking me, what the fuck? Oh. You see, that's a kind player over there. That's a kind ass motherfucker. That's the type of person you should be imitating. Because you see, she healed me. Or probably is a guy. I'm not I'm not gonna be sexist or anything, but it's probably a guy because most of WoW players are basically fucking teenage nerds and 40 year old balding men. If you know what I mean. Damn, this is a super fucking mistake to put on a sword. Not gonna lie. Oh, I have a talent point to spend. I'm stupid. So they told me the best possible thing I can spend on is combat. Let's see. Gouge. Gouge is like the, my, my stun. And energy. The cost of my energy strike would be really good. Of course, I don't think opportunity was a great deal, so I'm probably gonna have to spend gold and, you know, redo my talents. I don't know if that's free up to some point. Because whenever I started playing, it was on the classic area of the game, but I was a fucking kid, so I wouldn't understand it either, either way. So here's a level 9. Let's sneak up on him. I'm going to mostly try... Because you see, if I go over there, even if I sneak up on the level 10 one, I might die because there's a friend over there. So I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull up the level nine with a fucking hatchet. I can't do that yet. Not ready. Of course, it's not not much efficient because the, you know the damage really isn't that great. But it can save lives to have some throwables on the inventory. Ednaldo per penis. What? That ability. You see, there's also this bind I'm clicking. I don't know exactly what I'm clicking. But it's basically making the sound effects on the game go, go off. I need to find that out and, like, exterminate it for once. Honestly, there it's probably more beneficial for me to um, to throw hatchets because 
sneaking up on them is not a really good idea since I don't have a secondary dagger. I, uh, have, I switched for the sword because I thought it was gonna be better. Turns out it isn't. Because I do a lot of damage when I backstab. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, okay, so it's control ass. Yes, control your ass, baby. Okay, so I think I got it. So it's control ass. So if it's control ass, it's probably gonna be. Let's see. <clears throat> Maybe a miscellaneous control ass over here. Tar toggle sound. I'm gonna put on. Numpad 9, yeah, fuck you. Oh, yes, no more. No more. Oh, shit. I can't do that yet. Of course, I did pick like the rope as because it can basically go off of any bad situations. Four sword skill, it's almost at its limit. I did say I would go most for like for the most quests on Ellen. I should actually go back to doing that. I don't know, honestly. Should I? Because things look like they're under control right here. And the guy ob obviously knows what to do. People have already already like reached level 60 because they, you know, they don't sleep. Unfortunately, I'm underage and I have a, you know, a sleepy that. time. Mom, puts on to me? So I can go wacky even if I'm on holiday or on a vacation, which, by the way, I'm not. I'll only enter my vacation whenever. I think I, I still have more two more tasks to do, which are on Sunday. I mean, I think it's on Monday, honestly. And then I'll be done. And then I'll be fucking free. My objective is, once I'm done with classic, you know, season of mastery, I still have some you know, things to do with a friend of mine which, you know, plays well with me and he basically got in love with the game poor bastard it's, too far away. it's I mean he did play LOL League of fucking Legends before so it isn't much of a competition because Whenever he started playing, I would basically just flood him with my stories and experiences on how the game went basically to trash. I know it's not very beneficial to use, you know, the, the band-aids right now, but fuck it. I know I'll survive. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm a fucking asshole, like, that believes in myself too much, nah. It's because I'm played too, like, this game too much. Too much. The WoW community nowadays is unbearably stupid. Cause it like if you go on Instagram, I went on Instagram today to see like some WoW posts, maybe some you know nice screenshots of the game. And I saw like a picture of the new you know transmog on the shop. I went okay. Maybe just an advertising, but no, it was just like a player wearing it for, you know, to make it look good, you know, eh, that's why he bought it. I didn't get pissed by the fact that he actually bought it, but the fact like, like hundreds and hundreds of people said it was super fucking cool and would they, like, would buy it either way. Like, I didn't see, like, a single fucking comment, neither on this transmog shop thingy, neither on the cat mount that went off recently. And it pisses me off. Because, like, I'm playing for the nostalgia here. And a lot of people really are. But it's really creepy to see, like, all these fucking ignorant people actually coping up 
with an enterprise filled with fucking boomers who can't keep their hands to themselves. They just had to touch him. I still want to enter like the heroic guilds. I don't know if you have to enter Road to Ragnaros for that because if that happens, of course I'm not gonna join the guild. Because as I said earlier, Road to Ragnaros is absolutely fucking stupid hard and honestly idiotic. For example, they like not entering the, a group rule. That's probably the thing I hate the most. Because what I think make classics so cool is the complexities that the game had at the time basically forced you to have a group interact. Like the looting system back in the day was super easy to ninja loot. So you would basically have to choose more reliable people, um, be, more, uh, be smarter on the way you actually choose loot for people when you're a guild master. Upon rolling, finding actually respectful people is mostly the toughest job. Because imagine this I have cool fucking sword drops on the boss. You think people are actually gonna try and, and reason with the item? Because as bad or as good as it gets, on classic WoW, one item makes your game change absolutely in so many ways. As on retail, even though of course it makes a difference you have an item, usually counts for basically the full set. Because you don't feel that much of an improvement when you're like, I uh, level, I don't know, 255 staff upgrades to a fucking two, I, I don't do know, that. 260. You're not gonna feel significantly improved at all. Of course, that is and isn't a problem. It is on the fact that, like, see you guys, I almost died to a bull. Oh, oh my god, what's that? Hello, sweet cheeks. Okay, four silver. Let's see. Do I have anything cheaper to sell? Okay, that's the crack at the shells. One silver and nine three copper. That's pretty great. Okay, I'm looking snazzy. Inventory is full. Of course, demons are always full. Do I need this now? So of course I do. Intestines. I think I do need those for later. I'll throw out the tusks. Whatever. Fuck them. All right. Of course, I will be streaming for lesser amount of time because it's honestly so fucking time taking and you play it so many times because I did so many characters on war main whenever like the blizzard most recent lawsuit situation broke out and basically I got I won't say sick but I got what I wanted from the game so here's what, what's gonna happen, if I die, I'm gonna delete this character, I'm gonna call my friend, I'm gonna take a trip with him, but not just a trip, I'm gonna like use, you know, the recruiter friend helicopter, I'm gonna make him pack it in, and we're gonna see every possible zone on Warcraft, I'm gonna tell him stories. Let's see, behavior warning. 
Communication. Your recent communication behavior is not in line with how most of World of Warcraft players communicate. Oh, I know how much this happened. I think I know why this happened. Oh, oh, bye bye. Cause here's the thing. One guy actually fucked me up so bad I almost died because of him. And I called him like a bitch ass motherfucker. He probably reported me on like his fucking 35 TBC bot accounts. I think I actually the first time I ever got one of these. God damn. Well, the figures on the zones are the questing. Some things even surprise you to this day on World of Warcraft, ladies and gentlemen. What a giga chat. Doing alchemy, strength, health, and armor. I honestly do think Westfall is like a cool ass zone. Nice fucking quests. A kick-ass storyline about the Defias, but I really don't enjoy Eleven here because apart from going like to Alan Forest, or Forest maybe Loch Maldain, and what's the name of the place again over here? It's, yeah, Loch Maldain. Yeah, that's right. Because apart from that, I don't really enjoy. Because it feels so fucking dry. I don't know the aesthetic of the land. I'm not judging the graphics by their own. All I'm saying is it feels extremely parched and. Well. You can see what I mean. I'm using 10 out of 10 graphics. But here's the thing 7, level 7 is on my recommended. Level 3 is actual classic graphics, as you can see. But if I turn to level 3... Those are PS2 graphics. It's like Minecraft loading chunks. Except only the grass counts as the chunk. You can see how stupid this is? The whole land looks like a... Amount of hay bale. It looks stupid. I dislike it a lot. <clears throat> However, like on Ellen Forest, let's see one. Oh, so you don't have any of those anymore. <laughs> Who needs grass anyway? What the fuck? Did they, people actually play, play like this? God damn. What the fuck? Even the trees. Even the trees, dude. Jesus. Yeah, as you can see, the game is in a pretty bad shape. Season of Mastery is pretty cool. Up to this point, honestly, I've been having a lot of lots of fun. It reminds me of the good old days. The classic WoW is basically, in the words of a dev, from WoW. I don't know if he's like involved in the recent, you know, things that have happened to Blizzard or not. But I don't give a shit. His quote is amazing. Even if he, I, I don't know if he he is involved or not, but. He basically said that when he and his spells were, and the people were developing Classic WoW, is Classic WoW, the thing that like brought you to the game 10, 15 years ago, can bring you back so easily. Especially if you play like, for all the expansions. Because when you saw the Lich King die, that's basically when the magic died, as well. Because as I said, after like the Warcraft lore drought, you know, nothing will really make makes much sense. Of course it's easy to get fucking pissed. 
the current World of Warcraft state. Everything is stupid. The game is filled with pointless, loreless fucking class, uh, not classes, I'm sorry. Um, races, um, I'm sorry, High Mountain Torrents are cool. With fucking Void Elves? They literally made factions unusable because if you wanted to look fabulous as a blood elf, you would go to the horde, although the capital sucks ass because it looks like a fucking suburb. A fucking downtown stupid fucking thing. It's honestly so poor looking Ogre Mother is. But you have the blood elf. But you don't need to have a blood elf anymore because you have void elves. That's a minor controversy over there. Other controversies I can think of. Of course, the biggest of them is probably the fact that WoW retail nowadays is a pay to win game absolutely all the way. And I don't say this only because of the, you know, level boosts that are present in the game for a good while now. That you can basically pay more than the game is fucking worth to make your character instantly go up all the levels you need to go and have a starting really good gear. For, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 dollars. Okay, so that was, that was kind of dumb. I'm level 11, plus 13. Could've I'm really lucky I did those potion quests a while ago because they these saved me okay so this is level 13 so it's not really gonna be I mean I can beat him for sure but I would have died over here if it wasn't for the potion and the evasion ability <clears throat> I'm gonna try and look for other places. Even if I do gain, like, on the future some viewers, I would not care to change my content immediately to Final Fantasy or doing even, like, maybe some fucking CSGO gameplay. Oh no! I'll play anything. Of course. Oh, what's this? Agility and intellect. Five silver? Excuse moi. What can I sell? 14 silver. Oh, I fuck your copper bolts. Who needs copper bolts? Bro. That's so cool. Well, that's a lot of people. We got fucking Elowin, Aragorn, and fucking Gimli just walking around. I do think like the Warcraft lore after the Lich King died was kind of messed up not because of the content quality content of the story itself but, but also because of the order that was placed for me you didn't have to go much further away from like you didn't have to have Shadowlands you didn't have to have extremely complicated cosmological events and Basically, plot holes, lots of them, lore failures that are happening all the time because of the poor history telling abilities of the company right now. Because, here's the thing, after Cataclysm, I mean, in between Cataclysm, because a lot of people laughed after Wrath of the Lich King because, well, attacked it right out. okay. Anyway, after the Cataclysm, Lich King was the best, absolutely possible, evil character 
someone could think of at that time. They are, for me, as good as a fucking Tolkien character in, in the matter of, you know, character development. Fuck, I can't carry anything. God damn. I'm gonna try and sell some shit, because I can't carry nothing. Because, here's the thing, like, Arthas, Arthas Manithil, whenever he got his powers as the Lich King, the first thing that he went to do was to resurrect his childhood horse, the Invincible. Or as we call it in Brazil, the Undroppable. Even the fucking song is about his horse Looking for something never ever letting him down, being his greatest companion throughout all eternity. Chunk of boar meat. Mm, so I'm gonna keep that but just for later. Okay, sell this, sell that, sell this, this and that. Of course I'm gonna keep the potions. Mm, I'm honestly gonna sell this, probably. Not gonna do any leather working. Might be a bit too unnecessary. I do need this, I need this. Four intestines. Mm. Um, fuck, I'm gonna sell them. I'm kinda skeptical about selling them because I know their importance to make like the blood sausages later on. Because they do give a lot of. I'm gonna fucking destroy these fucking. Let's see, I still have 124 of these, so it's not gonna be of any pinch. Chunk of poor meat. Mm. Oh, fuck off. I'm gonna sell these as well. Let's see, I don't need these pumpkins. I don't need the flask of oil. Safe trap. 31 silver. That's surely the most boring task so far. God damn. Good content for streaming, hell yeah. Let's see, level 16? Fuck you. Warlock was amazing to level up. As soon as I got the, the pet tank, the Voidwalker. That guy is so strong. I mean, like the blood vessel thingy when you transfer your life to the pet. It's really not as strong as on retail. Because on retail you don't have to train your abilities. Because you're already a fucking master from level 1. You already have good gear from level 1. You have the most stupid tutorial I could ever possibly think of. If it was for me, like the new tutorial they added on Shadowlands, it wouldn't be some like ogre fucking fighting shit. Fuck ogres. I would do something... I don't know, maybe... Like the... You know that BFA? Warfronts? I know BFA is a shit ass of expansion. The Warfronts were basically shit as well. But the soundtracks... The PvP... I mean, it wasn't PvP, but... If it was sort of a PvP and you actually had a PvP experience on the tutorial... Even if it was, like, extremely brief and didn't really kill each other. It would be extremely cool. Because on the tutorial, you, you needly, like, you just kill quill boars and do stupid shit and learn combos no one really uses. Like, learn to face your enemy? Are you fucking kidding me? Mages don't do that. They call fucking meteors. They don't need to face the enemy. So that's a level 11. Okay, that's mine. Oh. Oh, you're fucking mistaken if you think that's gonna be yours, my friend. Son of a bitch, he got it. He's humiliate. He probably was thinking about using that before I got to the thing. Oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna kill this boar. 
He resisted. Fuck you. This dodge chance thing is so overpowered. Hell yeah. That's right. I'm probably not... As I said, I'm not gonna stream so much. I'm still feeling quite... Drowsy and... Um, honestly tired because my mouth is still a bit sore. Not so much, but... One and, one and a half... To keep talking a lot it hurts a little and i don't have to talk a lot because there's no one watching me but there's sort of an ob obligation to do so thirty one silver that's actually so much I was thinking maybe I should do something like I should do something oh, some of the stuff like off camera because like these taps these stupid fucking steps to grind money are so fucking time taking and boring it's probably gonna like make me buy some bags later Of course I was targeting like the other enemies so I could maybe you know grind the money while I was doing the quests but it seems I'm gonna have to reach in every mob I see on my face level fucking 12 oh my god let's see combat I'll need more stuns honestly by five so it's by five it costs 40 energies so it costs the same wait did eviscerate go go lower as well it's kind of odd 50 percent offhand weapon damage oh my god God damn, no wonder fucking combat is insane. Wait. How can I backstab? It's probably because... I'm used to, like, combat being basically outlaw. And being be able to stab using a sword. Which, of course, isn't very logical at all. It's a level 9. Oh, you're so fucked, baby. Come here. I'm feeling romantic. Oh my god. We tear them apart. Oh. I think I'm not using my sword. change the places I don't know if it's gonna change something let's see how it goes right now I can't do that yet. it feels kind of faster but honestly also feels like I have more like less attack power oh boy I can, do that. I can probably handle this fight If one more pops up, I might be fucked. Actually, no, I can run, whatever. Okay. Quick killing over here. One of the things I also disliked about the classic era was the band aid mechanic because I find it fucking stupid, like. Getting absolutely demolished by a warlock, for, ex for instance. Getting like shadow boated, you know, all the way. And basically just running away a little bit and using a stupid fucking medkit system would make you go, oh, it's okay. 
It's not like he threw a fucking demonic ass spell on you. It's okay, you just need to put on some cloth on your skin. It's gonna be fine. Of course, I also do think retail combat is stupid because it's any class can heal. I did kind of prefer when classes were a matter of rock, paper, scissors. Okay, I might not be able to handle this fight without using this. These bitches are getting strong. Well, I'm probably just not with the hang of the stuff yet. Yo, hell yeah, fuck you. I still didn't get any of the foods that increase stamina and spirit. Wait, I saw the backstab option pop up. Am I mistaken? Oh. Yes, baby. Six slot. That's a champ ass drop over there. That's a giga bitch ass drop over there. I can't do that. I think I'm on rest of XP right now because it was on the Goldshire Inn. Playing a rogue also feels extremely satisfactory. Sorry, I, I think I'm listening to some sort of melody coming coming from my road like coming from the street in the front of my house that's so fucking weird because it's like not like those tuned up radio guys who pump up like the fucking subwoofers to the max it was like some actual professional shit i don't know what i was listening to maybe it was like the bar i live next to Probably playing a, a late night song for the ladies. The guy drinking some beer. Boom. Boom. Okay, that was truly an accessory, honestly, but fuck it. It's fun. I'm kind of interested, like, what happens if I duel people on Hardcore? They don't die, right? Second thing, if I get the uh, Soul of Iron buff... Will it, like... If I hit level 60, will I be able to remove it? Because, <clears throat> like, once I was done... If I am done, like, with... You know... Raiding and the whole genre. I can basically go back to this character and you know, make him a normal character and use him for everything instead of just being, oh, okay, reached max level with you, I'm not gonna pay with you anymore. Rusty hatchet, it's an axe, eight damage. I wonder what spec uses actual swords. Probably assassination. Poison does seem to be extremely good. I honestly do not understand a single thing about rogues. All I do know they were the masters of basically kicking your ass without you being basically breaking free of the stun. That's what I know. That's what happened to me, honestly. Being a caster against a rogue is fucking... I can't do that yet. Keyboard smacking rage. Yo, I fucking saw the backstab again. What the fuck? Maybe I am actually able to backstab somehow. I'm gonna call that guy over there. Let's see. 
Bro, I'm able to backstab. It's clear over here. I need to get closer. Come on, man. I'm gonna backstab you. Oh no. Bro, 10 seconds, I might die. Oh no, bro. If it comes to this, I might actually have to run. Fuck. Oh, Let's check something. Yeah, baby. I didn't mute because my mom, she said, was basically Dune is already out on HBO. I watched the movie already. It's a great fucking movie. It felt like I was watching Star Wars for the first time. I don't think I'll mute my mom and my dad whenever they come into my room unless they're gonna say something bad about, you know, what I'm doing. Because it's honestly, for me, it's heartwarming and wholesome to see, like, the parents come in. And then, like, they do most of the times come and say nice shit. Hmm. Fucking gun. I don't know, should I use a rifle? I mean, it's probably fun because if the target's basically running away, I can just shoot him. Yeah, I'm gonna sell some stuff I'm gonna end the stream because although I didn't like stream so much, it was basically just for some explaining of what went on with me the last couple of days and not so much to grind I only grind in honesty because it would be kind of boring to just watch me say some stupid shit and then just go off no, I forgot the bind I set up for making my mind to go my mic go muke Oh, oopsies. Sorry, pardon for my English. Control F1 for some fucking reason is sneak. I need to target something first. Shift F1, Shift F2. Alt F3? I'm pretty sure it's broke. Let's see. Left Shift F2. Okay, so I wasn't just pressing hard enough. You see, that's what you get by using an optical keyboard for basically six years now. Yeah, I'm gonna go there and log off on the Sentinel Hill because it's gonna be safer. I don't care if people didn't like join in and talk. I don't give much of a shit. It's actually just so much fun to play and actually narrate what I'm doing. It feels makes me feel like scared of Florida. Man. Oh. I'm gonna read this later. God damn. Anyway. Thanks for coming to the stream. I hope you really enjoyed it. It w I'm not gonna say it was hard to make it, it was super easy, but um, yeah, I hope you have a good time. I didn't even complete one single task, a meaningful task, but then again, I'll get, I don't give a shit. Well, see you boys later. Bye bye. Of course, I'm gonna open OBS because I forgot my bind. As you can see, this is me. Typical WoW player over there. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. See you next time.